Tyler Almeida. Car number 48 uh, will roll out in position number 5 out of Fall River, Massachusetts. The Hills Propane, Hills Propane Helger South Coast Power Equipment car for Tyler Duhanchik. To the outside of Duhanchik in row number 3 out of Wareham, Mass. The Ed Lopes Pal to number 77 for Jordan Lopes. Car number 4 is in position number 7 out of Foster, Rhode Island. TTM Motorsports. Nicholas Airbrush Graphics, Bossley Graphics among the sponsors for Sam Matera. To the outside of Matera, car number 13, your points leader coming into tonight's feature event. Not his usual ride, but he is still here out of Warwick, Rhode Island, Atlantic Plumbing and Heating, Simpsons Auto Care, Mikey's Motorsports, Smitty's Towing and Recovery, number 13 for Mike LaFort. Inside row five, position number nine, out of Taunton, Massachusetts. Driving the Boss Lady Graphics Superior Rail and Ironworks, number seven, it's Taylor Bowser. To the outside of Bowser, rounding out your top ten is car number 89 out of Stonington, Connecticut, Emergency Training Service, Coastal Ninja Warriors, SaveLives.com machine for Henry LaValle. Inside row six, position number 11 out of Brockton, Massachusetts, in the 04, it's Jaden Hamilton. To the outside of Hamilton in position at number 12 out of Seekonk, Mass. At number 87 for Christine Cavallaro. In the inside of road number 7 in position 13. Driving car number 25 out of Brockton, Massachusetts. It's Jack Dumas. Starting 14th on the grid out of New Bedford, Mass. The Lion Gate Real Estate Machine in the number 11 for Sabrina Bollier. Inside the final road, row number 8 in Number eight on car, Next Level Building Services, Tribune Stone, Working Man's Distillers, Janitors Emporium are the sponsors for the number eight of Caleb Marco. And rounding out the field is car number 29. That is the machine driven by Jared Bigos. So 16 cars ready to take the green flag in the 30 lap special event for the Sport Fours. Again, $150 to the winner here tonight. $100 for second, $50 for third. And this should be a great battle, as we will see. Daniel Hayes, Dave Westgate. Westgate sitting fifth in points coming into tonight's feature event. Mike LaForte leads it. Tyler Duhantrick, who will be starting fifth on the grid, is second. A.J. Manuel, third in points. Not here tonight. Again, not running for points this year. Just running for wins, and he's certainly uh, done pretty well at that. Uh, Taylor Bowser sits fourth in points. And rounding out the field, Dave Westgate in that fifth position in points. He will be starting outside pole as they roll through turns three and four on the throttle. Green flag in the air. We're underway. 30 laps for the Sports Fours as they race into turn one. Westgate, big start off that outside line, and he is on the move, trying to pull away from Daniel Hayes as they come back to complete lap number one. Westgate will lead lap number one. Hayes falls into second. Crystal Murray looking to the inside of Hayes for that second position. Jordan Lopes at 77 is fast and I right behind Crystal Murray. Down through the corner, a little bump maybe into turn number three. Jordan Lopes at 77, fast this evening. Hayes struggling as he is stuck up on the outside line. Can't get any speed up there as we got Val for the second position as Lopes dives to the inside of Murray going to turn number three. Give position number two to Lopes as they come off turn four. Yeah, it just seemed like a matter of time until Jordan Lopes was able to move up into that second position. But look a little further back in the field. Fourth position, Tyler Duhanchik running up there second in points. As of now, and a few positions back, is your points leader sitting in that seventh spot. Mikey LaForte had a great qualifying run or practice times at least earlier tonight. We'll see how he turns up here in the feature. Looking to the outside of Sam Matera. Running Frankie down into turn three. Yep, LaFort trying to set up that crossover move that we saw in the Bando race. And here he comes. He's to the inside. Oh, he can't quite some get the momentum. But a bit of a twitch, though, from Matera. In position number five, number six to LaFort. Battle for the lead up front. Dave Westgate in the 49 down to the bottom. Here comes Jordan Lopes at 77 up on the outside lane. Has a nose to the outside of Westgate as they come off the corner. He falls back underneath to avoid the lap traffic. 
as they race down into one, the 77 Elopes all over the rear bumper of Westgate. Westgate, he was shot out of a cannon to start this race, but Lopes, he has been able to reel him in over the first seven laps. As he's trying to get some momentum on the inside as we got a caution. Oh, heavy damage to the seven car of Taylor Bowser. Uh, Bowser, a little bit of contact. I don't know if it was with the 87 there. Either way, the seven of Bowser went hard into the turn two wall. See if she's okay here as Vertices right on scene for the seven. I don't know if it was a right front tire down or what, but you can see the mark left on the wall to the right of the checkered flag there coming out of turn number two from that seven, the impact there. That's yeah, one of the tricky spots um, if you hit um, there. Remember back in the uh, Haunted Hundreds, I believe it was last year, uh, there was a tangle during one of the tri-track um, open modified series heat races, and I believe it was Matt Galco that got airborne up there. Nasty hit there. Luckily he was able to walk away from that one. So, for towing, backing up, we'll be taking the seven of Taylor Bowser back. Largest winner's prize for electric car race in the history of the Seacock Speedway. 18 drivers um, on hand, and especially those younger ones, they're going to be hungry because, you know, one grand. They do a lot. They'll, they'll definitely get you far. You're getting a sneak peek at the starting lineup for that Legends race as we... Uh, continue the cleanup of the Taylor Bowser machine up on the back stretch. Your top four are some real heavy hitters. Now, obviously, the legends, you know, you go through the whole field. They're week in and week out. There are several, a dozen more that could win week in and week out. But out of this field, your top four, Mason Tessier, Josh Parsons, Jake Johnson, and Luke LeBrun. Um, they have all had tremendous success here at Seacon Speedway in our legends division. So this will be a very hot start for 35 laps, seeing those guys up front. And the list goes on and on between, the, you know, in the field. There's, you pick pretty much anybody to win tonight, especially when that kind of money is on the line. You know everyone will be bringing their A game. Everyone will be shooting for the moon to try to take home that money. Yep, and oh, I've had a chance to see some of these legend drivers in action, both throughout the region, but as well as, again, on iRacing for the Seekonk Road Trip Tour. And tell you what, they can hang with the best of them out there. It's, uh, it's a great group of drivers, and they got a very bright future in racing, no matter what kind of race car they choose. Absolutely. And that will be, again, our main event here tonight, the Nicholas Scola Racing Summer Showdown Special. $1,000 to the winner. Yellow flag still flies as cleanup is just about completed here. Seven laps in to our Spring Villa bonus race, the Sport 4 feature event. Of course, David Westgate, the leader after shooting us to the lead um, at the very start um, of the race, but and Jordan Lopes has been able to close the advantage over the first seven laps here, but Lopes, though, he's been able to run the outside, but again, he's been trying to kind of set that crossover pass. Be interesting to see what his strategy will be on this restart. And again, you got Crystal Murray and Tyler Duhanchik lurking back there in row number two. And really, the top three rows have looked very racy tonight. Of course, you got Tyler Almeida and Mike Laporte. Laporte probably been one of the biggest viewers so far, Doug. Certainly has sitting on that outside third row, and you know Mike Laporte's. Always a threat to win your points leader here tonight. 23 laps to go, field crossed up. We're getting ready to go green. Dave Westgate down to the bottom of Jordan Lopes. Can Lopes get this outside lane to work and take the lead off the restart? Crystal Murray and Tyler Duhantrick got second row with Almeida in the fourth, rounding out your top six. Field bumper to bumper as they hit the zone. Westgate on the throttle first. He'll take the green flag and the lead as they race on down to one. Jordan Lopes. Almost tried the crossover move right away all over the rear bumper of Westgate as they exit two. Little contact back on the bottom half of the top five is Duhanchik. It looks like he probably got in together with Almeida. So him sliding up the track and Almeida is going for the fourth position. Meanwhile, Lopes 
he's working on Westgate's uh, for the lead. Says here comes the crossover move. Oh, Westgate, he can't close the door. Give the lead to Lopes as they come off turn four. Westgate counters with a crossover of his own. Huge move there, cutting down in front of the 38 of Murray, just getting in front of her, and he crosses over Lopes out of two. He will take the lead back, but some tells me this red battle isn't over between the two of them. Jordan Lopes still sits close in second. Crystal Murray's closed that gap, though. She is all over the rear bumper of Jordan Lopes as they exit turn number two. Murray trying to make it work on that inside line with Lopes trying to get some speed up top, but Lopes able to close the door. But Lopes now, he gets to the inside of Westgate. Lopes trying to make room if he can't have it. He fights down off turn number two, has a nose underneath the 49 about halfway, past him side by side into three. He'll take the lead with ease off the corner. Westgate can't get the crossover this time because Crystal Murray's there in the quick oil co machine. She takes second place away, and here comes Tyler Almeida now challenging Westgate for that third position down the back. Westgate nearly hung out to drive for the top two spots, luckily able to shut the door on Tyler Almeida out there. Meanwhile, Duhanchik keeping Mike LaForge on FA in the battle for position number five. Meanwhile, Jordan Lopes, he is pulling away. Down off the corner they come. Jordan Lopes leads another lap here. 16 laps to go. Pistol Murray about two car lengths back of your leader. Battle for third. Tyler Almeida all over the rear bumper of the 49 of Westgate. Battle for fifth as well as Mike LaFort down to the inside of Tyler Duhanchik. Racing off at turn number four. Coming up on some lap traffic. They'll be side by side across the line as we are halfway down. Yep. LaFort takes over the fifth position as we are now just past halfway in this 30 lap feature. Meanwhile, Lopes continues to lead. I'll tell you what, Doug, Crystal Murray is not letting him get away. Crystal Murray is not staying within reaching distance of that 77 of Jordan Lopes, so maybe that's all you can do tonight as Lopes got to that lead and he has not given up too much room back to the 38 of Murray. Murray, though, is sticking with him. Still about now three car lengths back, not losing him completely, but it is the Jordan Lopes show so far as he's powered to that lead. 12 laps to go this time by. Lopes looks to hang on. Westgate still in position number three, but he's got a mirror full of the stars and stripes as Almeida gets to the inside. A little bit of contact possibly out there as we saw a bit of a puff of smoke from the 07 car. Laporte, he's looking at trying to make a move on these two, but trying to play a little safe now as we still have over 10 laps to go. Down through the corner for that third position. It just seems to be one of those times where Tyler Almeida thinks he know, may know he's faster than the 49 of Westgate, but you can be faster. You just got to make sure you can get around him. And Tyler Almeida bumping the 49 all over his rear, breathing down his neck, cannot find a way to get by Westgate as they race down to the three. Jaden Hamilton showing the black flag. He's got smoke coming from the 04 car. Meanwhile, Lopes, he's got a two and a half second lead over Murray, who's comfortably in position number two, but we have a Hornets nest for the three, four, five, and six spots as Almeida, another tap to the back bumper of Westgate. Down through the corner they go, eight laps to go for Jordan Lopes. Pretty even there between Lopes and Murray on that last lap, still about two and a half seconds back. Jordan Lopes taking it lap by lap now as he continues to lead Crystal Murray. And again, that battle is on for the third position. Almeida tries to slide under the 49, but Westgate holding that podium position so well. Almeida can't get behind him, and it's slowing up the guys behind them. Great defensive move by Westgate forced Almeida to really get on the binders. Nearly lost the car. One of the good things about these front-wheel drive sport fours it's easy to correct yourself as Duhanchik, he wants that number on um, five position back from before. Down off the corner they come and looking up ahead, five laps to go for Jordan Lopes. He has the entire back straight stretch lead over Crystal Murray. Battle for third, finally Tyler Almeida can make that pass on Westgate. He had been trying all race long and he gets it. Tyler Almeida to third. And now Mike LaFord looking to sneak into fourth position with four to go. Westgate not done, a bit of a tap to Almeida, but he loses some momentum and it's opened the door for LaFord briefly as they all slide coming out of turn four. 
Down to the corner they go. Westgate slides. He is around. Contact with the fort. Westgate has left front damage, significant left front damage. Caution flag is out. And the 14, I believe, lost a tire out there. You can see the tire carcass just off of turn number two on the top side. The 49's dropping parts too as he lost the fender, it looks like, there in the middle of three and four. Significant left front damage for Westgate as he got together with LaFord. LaFord was able to keep going. 14 of Hayes around, as Connor mentioned. You saw Tyler Duhantrick sitting in the grass for a moment as well. He looks like he is okay in the Phil's propane machine. I don't know, he might have some left rear damage there. It's hard to tell from our viewpoint, though, but boy, I'm not sure what happened, Doug. It looks like everybody just got completely out of shape there going into turn number one. Don't see any fluid down on the track. This is just one of those things where everybody was just up on the wheel and just on the edge of control. Everybody, they just lost control there at that exact moment. But bad news, though, for Jordan Lopes, who had a three and a half second lead prior to the yellow flag. And now he's going to be on the defensive the next three laps for Somer. So caution out with three laps to go. And yeah, as you mentioned, it looked like uh, Westgate was down in that third position going into turn number one. He got a bit loose, slid it in there. And uh, Laforte was underneath them trying to take the position away. They made contact as obviously the way Westgate slid into turn one. He was heading down. And that's where the fort was. They hooked up left uh, front of Westgate, right front of uh, the fort. And uh, tore up Westgate's car and obviously made contact with the fort. But uh, 13 kept driving. So he is going to sit in that fourth position. We saw Duhantrick show up, so he's going to lose a couple positions. This should be an interesting restart. Uh I have to admit to kind of reorienting myself after, especially after being at Thompson Speedway last night where the outside line is just such a key, especially for the guy sitting in position number four. But I'll tell you what though, Mike LaForge, I think he's got the car to possibly make an attack from that uh, fourth position, especially if Murray and Lopes, if they get into each other, they make uh, a little bit of contact out there. There's plenty of room here for a three wide pass at Seacock. Absolutely. The widest tracks you'll see, and you can have plenty. I know, obviously, it, you know, you see the trend, the bottom lane is sort of the uh, preferred lane. Um, when you see the outline, outside lane work, or the outer groove for what it is, obviously, you know, there could be 20 outer grooves with how wide the track is. Um, when you see the 49 of Westgate, so Duhantrick, uh essentially slowed up there to avoid, so he'll be giving his fifth spot back, which is big for him, obviously fighting for points. Sitting in that second spot, he'll be right a position behind Mike LaFort. Field crossed up. We're getting ready to go back to green flag racing. Lopes down on the inside. Murray to the outside. And Jordan Lopes with a big restart here. Almeida able to hop into second as well as Murray can't get going on the outside. Tyler Duhanchik to third. That's going to push Mike LaFort back to fifth. Fighting for that with Sam Matera. Boy, disaster for Murray on that restart as Almeida got a chance here. Top obstacle six shown, two laps to go. But Lopes, though, he is fast on that inside line. Down through the corner they go, single file throughout your top four. As they race off the corner, white flag in the air. Jordan Lopes leads the way as he has most of tonight. Down through one and two with Tyler Almeida right in his rear bumper. Almeida needs a Hail Mary going into turn number three. He sends it in, but Jordan Lopes sticks to the bottom off turn number four. Checkered flag in the air, Jordan Lopes comes home with the win in the Sport 4 feature event here tonight. Tyler Almeida second. Tyler Duancic in that third position. Fourth place to the 38 of Crystal Murray in fifth. Rounding out your top five. Jordan, I don't want to say it was easy, but you made it look easy at least. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to win tonight. Uh, all the guys that work work with me uh, trying to get me out early. And uh, you know, so I think we'll check me some run here a few years ago. Kenzie, Tyler, uh, Ray, he's not here also, but uh, 
Yeah, if it wasn't for them guys, I would be dead. I think that pretty much sums it up. There you go, ladies and gentlemen.